Welcome back. The Arizona Arts Conservatory and Collective unites the Tucson community together to present the ballet Sleeping Beauty as a chance for underprivileged children to have access to the arts and put it at risk youth in after school arts programs. Here to tell us more are Mark Anthony Nichols and Tucson's Black Cat, Aja Simone. Did I do that right? You got it right. All you right. got the job. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having us, sir. So tell us uh, first, what is exactly the Arizona Arts Conservatory and Collective? Sure. The Arizona Arts Conservatory and Collective is a united of the Tucson community. We bring together artists from painters, actors, dancers, and musicians to put on the full-length ballet Sleeping Beauty so we can give opportunities for underprivileged children and at-risk teens to get them off the streets and learn more about arts education. Well, I love that. I mean, what better way to do that than with the arts? Absolutely. And you guys have a great spring project, which I think you just mentioned. So tell us yes. a little bit about what people can expect. So uh, coming up this spring, we're going to have two projects we have. We have the Ballet Sleeping Beauty, which we're putting on on May 13th and May 15th. Okay. And then we're doing a large fundraiser where we're holding a masquerade ball for the mm -hmm. Tucson community, where we'll be putting on a private section of the Sleeping Beauty, the ballet, for the people, as well as we're throwing a ball. So we're going to have ballroom dancers coming out to show you guys how to do ballroom dancing, as well as have a sit-down dinner, yeah. and a fundraiser so we can can help put on the ballet for the kids in the community. Okay, and so if people want to go to this, uh, can they get tickets online or where can they go? Um, so the best thing is, is I would say call Mr. George Nichols, that <laughs> is my dad, he is our ticket master. You can call him at 800-9123. Okay, very good. Yeah, and I think we have that phone number a little later on, and we also see another one on there, 312-7336. Yep, that's Would that just be fine. okay, too? Yeah, you can reach me directly. That's my number. Excellent. <laughs> okay, and, and Aja, where you come in is a head of style is your salon. Yes. So what's your involvement with the, uh, the ballet? Um, me and my staff will be helping um, with the hair and makeup for the production, and I will also be coming out of storage, and I'll be performing in, in the uh, production of uh, what we're doing. Um, but uh, I don't know what, what we can't say that right now. <laughs> okay. But um, we'll also be we'll be doing the hair and makeup, and um, we're we're helping my friend Mark out with uh, donating our time. Well, I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. Yeah. Um, so what are the other reasons that you started uh, the collective, would you say? I think the idea is, is that we want to encourage the Tucson community to come out and support us and support um, not just our children, but each other. It's kind of that idea is when we say we're uniting the Tucson community. Yes, we're bringing together artisans from all across the board, but the thing is, is we're also bringing in local industries. Yeah. Where we're going to do percent nights at local restaurants. We have like local hairdressers and local salons, like Miss mm -hmm. Asha, yeah, doing we'll our hair and makeup for our <laughs> artists. And then we're going to work on getting local florist and flower shops to then do arranging of their flowers so then our company becomes a walking advertisement for everybody. So I love yeah. that. I love that. And of course what, what might make you thrive too are volunteers. Is yes. That, is that correct? Absolutely. So if someone wants to get involved in that way, do they have to have any special requirements or what do they have to do? Um, the one thing we have to do is we say the enthusiasm to help us inspire the next generation. So is our motto is that we're creating a place for equality in the arts for all. So we want to be able to create the best place to inspire the next generation of Tucson artists mm -hmm. to be able to come out and not only learn a craft but master a craft so then down the road they can pass their craft to the generation that follows. That's really great and so how hard is it to put on something like the ballet? Um, well the thing is is we're already in production we have our students out already practicing that it takes about three or four months just to get the ballet perfected right but then you also want to get it out there to the community as well so we are about two months out until we have our first show so we're saying you guys come get tickets come support and come start talking about Sleeping Beauty the ballet. Oh hugely people really need to go watch it and get involved and so Aja for you what's it like to work with people like Mark and, and with the collective? Oh it's wonderful um, the thing is I come from a dance background myself so this is nice for me to kind of come out of storage to get back on stage and I'll also be uh, hosting a portion of the um, the event for the uh, the ballet yes. and the um what is it? The, the and, masquerade and, ball. Yeah, the masquerade ball. ball. <laughs> That's right. So it starts the 13th with the ballet. It's also mm -hmm. on the 15th. Yes. And the ball and the masquerade ball is when? On the 14th. Right as in the well. middle. So yes. Okay. So we have our show. We have our masquerade. We have our show, and then we take our kids to our cast party so they can have some fun after we beat them up with Sleeping Beauty. Beautiful. <laughs> well, this sounds like a blast, guys. Congratulations <laughs> on, so on what you're doing here and what you're doing for the community. And Aja, thank you for bringing in all your style and fashion oh, we advice. Oh, try. Thank oh, you. Oh, you're great. <laughs> Tucson's Black Cat, everybody. Today. Yeah, if I remember where I'm supposed right. to be. There you go. Well, thank you so much again for joining us, and you guys, good luck with the event. Awesome. Thank you so thank much. You. And have a great time. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Thank, thank you. you. And again, to get tickets for their upcoming events, you can call 800-9123. And for more information, send an email to aacctucson at gmail.com.